Those stalking and hunting instincts, even senior felines that have led a pampered life indoors and have never been outside for any considerable amount of time, they still have the drive to stalk and the desire to hunt. Cats and those instincts, it's just who they are. Well, what happens when you throw a television into the mix? Animals on screen, wildlife shows. Will a cat attempt to lunge at the screen in order to capture a bird they see on your 72-inch beauty that you just bought? It's possible. In this material, I'll talk about TV and cats, what they really see, and why it can be frustrating for some cats to watch wildlife shows. A bit of hunting action denied, perhaps? I'll talk about it. Stay tuned. Before I address any frustration that could build due to some of nature's finest appearing on television, I'll first talk about what cats see. Can your pet truly see that bird, or is it simply a blur of moving colors? The answer is yes. <laughs> your cat can certainly see something, but the viewing experience, well, it's much different than ours. So no, your cat doesn't have the same visual appreciation, let's say, for television that many of us do, however. Cats can be quite entertained by the colors and the movement, especially when you add sound into the fold. The reds, the yellows, the greens, and the blues, the colors of nature, especially animated nature, uh, animals and cartoons. In this case, the viewing experience will be incredibly vibrant and much sharper compared to what we would see. It's not uncommon for some cats to become fascinated with children's cartoons compared to a run-of-the-mill commercial about, I don't know, car insurance. The visual experience is far different. In this case, uh, in the case of our topic, the sound of animals, birds chirping, uh, lively colors, fast movements, absolutely, 100%. That recipe could draw the attention of a cat. When it comes to wildlife shows, it's not uncommon for certain shows to feature a narrator who bows out of the action for seconds at a time, and then all you're left with is the visual of a bird, let's say, and the sound of said bird and just general nature sounds. This experience, albeit on television, is similar to what a cat would experience outdoors, a bird on a limb of a tree with nature's soundtrack in the background. If this is presented in the proper setting, as in nothing else going on in the home to distract your cat and the TV is big enough with respect to display, then yes, your cat could be very much fascinated and also very frustrated. Once a cat decides all of this information has something of value and it's not something to be ignored, that can transition into a behavioral response, some type of physical reaction to what is being seen and heard. And what happens here? Well, this can be the tricky part. When a cat is stalking and hunting, one of the calling cards involves waiting for the perfect time and either pouncing or making a play via a paw swipe. Think of a pot of stew on the stove with the lid on. Once that pot begins to boil, you better get over there quick or that lid will just bubble right off. Well, this is where the adventure begins with a cat and frustration could build. It's cute when you realize your cat's watching television, especially animals on TV, but it's not so adorable when your cat tries to grab that bird that's, you know, not really there. And sure, it's fair to say that most cats can sit through this type of programming, enjoy it however they enjoy it, and not act out. Some just don't care at all, totally oblivious, while other cats are just unable to sit still. So much of a cat's reaction to television of this nature, no pun intended, Depends on general personality and their overall desire to hunt. If your cat loves to watch animals on YouTube and the like, there's a chance that a television show on the big screen could be interesting, to say the least. One thing that you've got going for you, and the one thing that will often prevent cats from actually attacking the television, is the lack of a scent. Felines have roughly 200 million scent receptors. We've got about 5 million. Well, your cat can't smell that fish on the screen, can't smell that bird, can't smell that cat that's wandering around in high definition, the inability to put a smell with those colors, a scent with those colors and movements, could be the difference between curious engagement and outright pouncing and slapping at the screen. When it comes to the topic of frustration, it's a mixed bag. I'd say that if your cat is young, very feisty, always eager to play, stalk, and hunt, in addition to legitimate stalking and hunting outside, then wildlife shows could fire up those instincts and ultimately prove frustrating when the price just can't be attained. 
Many years ago, one of my cats, he wasn't big on animal TV, but he had a brief interest in figure skating. <laughs> During the Winter Olympics, that's a different type of programming. Not a lot of talking, just a bunch of movements set to music for minutes at a time. He'd just look and listen. He was into it. It was actually hard to break his attention. Of course, watching your cat watch figure skating with great intent is pretty funny, but anyway. <laughs> Before I close things out for this video, I'd like to talk about the benefits of television. One of the things I like to do is keep one of my televisions on during the day for my cats. I keep the sound low. You can hear it, but it's low. It's something they know, so I keep the TV on as a source of comfort for them. They're used to the sound of people talking and music from commercials, what have you. They tend to function better during the day, especially if I'm not around. With someone else doing the talking, someone from the TV, at night everything is quiet, but during the day, the television's on. They've really never known life without the television, so it's just something that I do for them, sort of like a nightlight for a child. It's just extra comfort. Television can give cats an aspect of positive stimulation. And if your cat has anxiety, like I mentioned, the television, by simply being on, can be used as a calming device, especially if other things are taking place in the home or there's a storm outside. If the TV has become part of the routine, your cat will grow to appreciate it. In many ways, it's another connection to you. Most cats will react to a strange voice in the home while never reacting to strange voices on the television. This is because the TV is familiar, even if the voices aren't. The sounds and the direction of the sounds are stationary and non-threatening. So while wildlife shows could stir up a bit of frustration, the TV has far more pros than cons for your cat, just overall. And as a bit of a helpful tip, if your cat does love animals on TV and does get a bit wound up by the visuals and sounds, once that tension has mounted, give your cat a play session. Allow them to stalk, hunt, and capture something they can really capture. This way, they won't be unfulfilled by the hope of a completed hunt, an uncompleted hunt, I should say. And also, this will also uh, stop them from, you know, attacking the TV. Uh, odds are slim, but there's still a chance that your cat could do that. If you think your cat's about to take a swipe at that bird on the screen, have those toys ready. Provide your cat with a distraction before they attempt to catch things on the television. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, let me know what's up. So many times I turn things over to everyone and ask for opinions, additional bits of information that could be added to a topic, but this one's a bit different, <laughs> to say the least. Any stories of televisions wrecked by Garfield? Let me know, let me know. Has your cat ever truly attempted to capture something on the TV? Or what about the flip side? Is your cat 100% oblivious to your television, wildlife shows or not? Please let me know in the comments section, as always. It's all yours. If you enjoyed this material, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching. And you know what's up. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Everybody take care.